Okay, so here we are in the kitchen in the living room, and we are here with the chefs of Flying Pans, Two Chefs, One World, Bernard and Ron, and they are going to make one of their favorite dishes. Check this out. This is called apricot ginger glazed Tasmanian salmon. So we're going to make one of the recipes from their book, Flying Pans, and I'm going to give it to Ron at this point. This is sauteed corn. Okay. Today, yellow corn. Found it at the market. Put it in a bowl here. And then you see we could have diced the fennel, mm -hmm. but instead of doing that it would, it would have come out almost the same shape as the corn. So instead of doing that we slice it across the grain really thin. And again that's just raw fennel. Exactly. It looks raw like fennel, onions. Nice and crisp. You can put it in a little ice water first and crisp it up if you wanted to. But I like it just like this raw. That way we retain all the nice flavor in there. Nice and nice flavor. Okay, and then we're going to add some diced apple. So I'm going to show you really quick how to dice an apple kind of easily. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll cut it into quarters and take out the seeds first. But it's much easier just to keep the apple whole, cut a little piece with the skin off, and then you cut some planks like this. Okay, just go right down to the seeds. Ron, does it matter what kind of apple one uses? I like to use an apple that's a little bit sour. This is a gala apple. And then we go this way, and you have a beautiful dice. And you're leaving a little bit of the skin on. Yeah, the skin gives it a little more color. Mm -hmm. And also, if you use an organic apple, it's nice to leave the skin on. Okay, These are gooseberries. I have never heard of gooseberries. Okay, this is from New Zealand, and it's like a, a relative of the tomatillo. So when they come, oh, they have a husk on like this. Mm -hmm. So back to our salad we're making, we have some green onions. Mm -hmm. Put in as little or as many as you like. Mm -hmm. Look at that, though. Let's just take a yeah, pause. That is beautiful, that's just like that. A, that's a farmer's market in itself right there. Absolutely. Okay, we have some a julienne mint. Now when you julienne the mint, you just take the leaves, pluck them off the stems, put them on the cutting board, and go with the knife through one time. Mm -hmm. Don't obliterate it, and then it gets all black and oxidized. Right. That way you keep the color and you keep the nice flavor too. Now just to dress this, it's very simple. Just a little bit of honey. Any particular this, kind of honey? This honey is from Temecula, mm -hmm. and it's a sage honey. Sage honey. Yes, but you can use any kind. And we're going to do some pepper. Okay, so now we have sour with the gooseberries, sweetness with the corn and honey, a little anise flavor with the fennel, some salt and pepper to give it some spice, and we're going to finish off with a little lemon juice. This kind of creates the dressing in there. Okay, call me crazy, but I'm looking at this thinking this could be a great tossed salad with a little vinegar. This, you could, you know, I would eat this for me breakfast. Me too. You <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, put this together. Now we want to put a little oil in there so that all the flavors stick together, all the salt and pepper sticks to the ingredients. Why do you well, like avocado oil? First of all, we, we live near Fallbrook, where all the, they grow all the avocados, and there's a gentleman over there who's actually producing avocado oil. So it's local. Neat. Has a really nice fragrance. Oh, you can yummy. You smell the avocado oil. Yeah. Right very neat. And it tastes, it smells nutty almost. Yeah. You're going to see the color, how green it is. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Okay, this is our salad. Absolutely gorgeous. We're going to hand this off to Bernard so he can finish the dish. All right, so we sear on flesh first for about, I would say, a couple of minutes. So always tilt away from you. So like this, when you drop the fish, the oil will be away from you. It will be right over here. Mm -hmm. So it's a good safety tip. So nice and hot. I always put the skin on, and the reason why the skin on is because you will have more flavor by leaving, by cooking it on the skin, and the skin also will protect the fish. So if you like to do barbecue in the summertime, mm -hmm. you, do it, you do exactly the way I'm doing it. Flesh first, and then you put it on the skin, on your barbecue. Yeah. What, what will happen is when the fish is cooked, you take a spatula, the skin stays on the barbecue, and you have the flesh mm -hmm. on it. And it stays really, really nice and nice. So what you want to do is nice and uh, golden brown. You want to have that beautiful searing up effect because this is where you will be get, able to get all the flavor. Mm -hmm. So there is a rule. Then if we call it a three-inch rule. If you crowd your pan with, let's say, five pieces of fish, mm -hmm. we'll be a five people coming out. Right. For dinner, most likely that pan will really go down and lose all the heat. 
so that heat will disappear because so the protein is cold. So you're saying only do about three Leave. pieces and keep the space between we'll them. We'll say one inch. So what we do now is we'll add a little bit of our glaze. Beautiful. So you really want to make sure that you're pretty generous on this because it has a really, really wonderful flavor. Now how cooked are you cooking the salmon? Are you going to have it pink? Medium rare. Okay. Always medium rare. The reason why I want to cook it medium rare is because he will cook you to cook on his own. So every time, every time that you are cooking protein, especially like salmon, you want to cook, you want to cook it medium rare. By the time that you serve it, it will be another couple minutes, right? So the heat continues to go through. Okay. If you cook it medium, which mm -hmm. is people like it, like the fish cook medium, well, by the time that you were serving it, it would be medium well. Okay, so it's been in there just for about a minute? It's been over there for a minute, so I do believe that it's going to be ready. Oh, yeah, perfect. Oh, my gosh. So you see the heat has not gone all the way through, so it's on the medium mm -hmm. rare side. We're going to put our relish first. So as you can see, on the bottom of the, of the, um, of the bowl, you have a little bit of juice. Mm -hmm. So this... The really, avocado oil. Yeah, yeah, the avocado oil. And also, the, uh, the juice of the corn, as well as the, uh, the fennel. To that, we'll take a salmon. This is right on top. And we can take a little bit more of the avocado oil to finish it. Et voila. Ah. Maybe a couple of those guys. What do you think? Yeah, totally. One over here, one over here, and one on the back. Beautiful. Voila. So this would be your pistachio, crusted salmon, with a little bit of curry with a bit of sesame seeds and then you have that beautiful salsa mm, that, that you can really use for many different other preparations. That is so beautiful. Thank no, you, so you know what, what we need with this? Oh, a nice mind. glass of Sauvignon Blanc. Oh. And it would be...